Welcome Scorpio. Welcome back to those that are returning viewers and welcome to my first time viewers. I'm an intuitive reader. If you'd like a personal reading, please feel free to contact me on the email listed below this video. Otherwise, we'll get straight into it Scorpio and see what's happening for you. Okay, so we have the Emperor. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Knight of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. And the Knight of Wands. Okay, so first from the top left we have the Emperor. And the Emperor is all about this stern, elderly figure. It could be a partner, it could be a father, a boyfriend, a brother, etc. It doesn't necessarily have to be male, although it could be. Now this person I feel as though could be under the sign of an Aries. And I feel as though this, they're, they're dominating you in some sort of way or you're consulting them and you're seeking their approval in some sort of way. Now, this could be um, in terms of a potential marriage partner because you do have the four of ones and that's all about marriage and longevity here. And you also have a couple of offers here with the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. So I feel as though there's a lot of offers coming to you and you might have to consult this emperor, whether it's a husband, a spouse, a brother, a father, a boss figure, you may have to seek their approval in some way, shape or form. So if this is regard it's to love, this could be an in-law, uh, you know, a father-in-law that sort of, you know, is very adamant and stern on doing something in a traditional way. Um, maybe perhaps not approving of something that you're thinking about doing, some sort of something, some sort of change in your physical realm here that you're thinking about doing. And, you know, the emperor is someone you have to consult and seek approval from. This could also be a partner that's around you as well. So I feel as though they'll be very dominating around you. And there's also a lot of fire in these in this reading also, Scorpio. So I feel as though things are happening very quickly because fire evolves very quickly. There's a lot of action, communication, a lot of things being said. And I feel as though there could be an exchange of words with this emperor person whether it is a love partner or someone in your workplace. If it is something in your workplace, then I feel as though there's a big issue or offer or offers at hand here. And this person um, will drastically shape the outcome in some way, shape or form. Maybe this person is representing you in something, you know, maybe they're your agent, maybe they're your lawyer, maybe they're your uh, accountant, someone you consult. Uh, I feel as though this person is very wise, perhaps very learned, but maybe a little bit too set in their ways. This is what I'm, uh, I feel. So I feel as though there's some sort of heated debate that could take place with this emperor. Or it could be that this person is quite domineering and steering you in a certain way. Now, now I also feel as though for some Scorpios, this could be uh, an Aries or this emperor that's forcing you perhaps into marriage you know, um, is very traditionally set in their ways also in how they look to a marriage partner. Because you do have the Four of Wands, and the Four of Wands is this beautiful celebration card of marriage. I mean, you have this beautiful wreath here, the Ark, you know, it's just, it's a card of celebration, good times. Maybe traveling, you might be traveling for a wedding, or you may be invited to a wedding that's in um, distant shores here with the Three of Wands also. Maybe you're planning your wedding. Maybe this emperor might propose to you around this time or talk about marriage to you but I feel as though this will unfold very quickly here because the ones are fire there's action movement and it's heated it happens very quickly sometimes it happens a bit too quickly for our liking but there's a lot of positivity rating from um, radiating from this card and maybe it could be a fire sign or an earth sign that's proposing these things to you uh, Scorpio, maybe that's what you've been dealing with. This is also uh, not necessarily, I mean, not everyone's getting married, but this also is a celebration of some sort of union. Maybe a contract has fallen through. Maybe you'll be getting, uh, you'll start to hear of legal proceedings. There's some sort of news here that will, that will give you cause to celebrate. And it could be news from a different city, state or country here with the three of wands. This could be news that you're waiting for. Maybe you're waiting for a visa to go overseas. Maybe you're waiting for a divorce case, you know, proceedings. Maybe you're waiting for some sort of green light to go ahead. And I feel as though you'll be celebrating. And it could be because of this emperor. He could be the key role in this uh, in this issue for you for this month here with the Four of Wands. But there's engagements and planning and offers coming to you, Scorpio. So I'm really liking these as so long as you don't rush into them. Now, moving on, we have the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands is, a, is, is quite a positive card of having options of having, you know, looking to foreign shores. 
examining what's ahead, what's in the distant horizon, having support behind you, acting quickly, moving. So this could be a move and you celebrate a new move to a new location. Maybe this is the real estate agent that gets you this house that approves your visa or green card or something because there's travel on um, travel here for you. You're looking to travel or you're planning to travel in some in some way here with the three of wands. And you could potentially meet this emperor whilst overseas if this is what you're planning to do. Could be under an Aries. Um, typical attributes would include a domineering figure, quite stern, set in his ways, maybe a little bit temperamental, might have a short fuse also. Uh, quite established. Someone that's very in the comfort zone and doesn't want to step out of that also. Now moving on, you have the Knight of Pentacles. And this is the beautiful offer that's coming to you in your physical realm. It could be an offer made to you from an Earth sign, so Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. This could be in love if this is in a relationship setting or perhaps moving in together. This could also be a date or proposal of some sort. Now this Earth sign or a fire sign perhaps could be uh, from a foreign background. They could be very close to their father. They could be very close to their family. And oftentimes this father figure or this wise elderly figure in their lives will dictate their how they see things and will dictate their perception and their future decisions in their life. So that's something to watch. But the Knight of Pentacles also symbolizes money in the form of pentacles or anything in your physical realm. So again, this is why I said this could be news that comes to you and you receive some sort of asset, a deed money that you're you've been in you know you're waiting to get that you've been entitled to for quite some time and also here with the page of pentacles so it's double whammy here two offers this could be counter offers if you're proceeding in some sort of case this could be two job opportunities two salaries um negotiating salaries receiving two job offers if you are looking for work but i feel as though if this is the case this is a tough nut to crack here with the emperor this could be your existing boss or someone that you might be working for in the very near future but the knight of pentacles really is a positive card of getting assets this is someone making you an offer maybe you've been dealing with someone you've been traveling you've met this person maybe you went to a wedding and you met a person there and I feel as though they'll give you an offer of some sort. This could be a long distance relationship that might be on the cards for you. It doesn't necessarily have to be from a different country. They could be from a different city, state even, or, or area, suburb, etc. But there's someone that's very well established and has a lot of money behind them. They may have already been married also. And they could uh, rush into things at times. So I would advise you to be very methodical in your thinking here, Scorpio, because I feel there's a lot of fire. Things will ignite very quickly, could be very passionate and just you go in th full throttle and then you see the real character of this person here. But I'm really liking these two offers. So I'm seeing counter offers. There could be potentially two earth signs that come and give you an offer of love maybe. Or maybe you've been liaising with a lot of people here because you do have a lot. You've got the Knight of Wands, the Page, the Knight of Pentacles and the Emperor. There's a lot of males in these cards. And maybe if you're a female, you've been dealing with a lot of males assessing which one is potentially marriage material for you. And I feel as though in turn, they have assessed you as a potential candidate as well. So even if you are openly dating and you're seeing a lot of people, these people are thinking about you and considering you as a potential lifelong mate. And I feel as though there's a lot of stability here with the earth signs most definitely. So again, this could be two offers made from two different uh, earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. I mean, I feel as though there could be some sort of shotgun wedding. This is what I'm getting with the Four of Wands and the Knight of Wands, the Four of Wands and the Knight of Wands especially, because there could be some sort of proposal here and you just rush to get it. And if you have to move overseas to the, for this person, I feel as though you will. That's definitely on the cards for you in the near future. But this is money and deeds and property and assets coming to you. If this isn't a work situation, I feel as though you're generating a lot of ideas. You ha might have to run it by someone. Um, it could be legalities or any technicalities, you know, crossing your T's and dotting your I's. But I feel as though for the most part, it will bring you a lot of money, wealth, prosperity here. You'll have cause to celebrate. This is sealing something, making a contract of something. So a contract could fall, th could fall through. Maybe you're in that sort of industry where you're waiting for, you know, that big lucrative client to come on board. And I feel as though you'll get the seal of approval from them um, if you have if it has been quite an arduous task for you 
Now moving on, you have the Knight of Wands, and this is this really fiery energy that's coming up here. Um, these almost look like pyramids, so it could be some sort of connection to the Middle East or to Egypt. Maybe you're traveling and you're thinking about going to the Middle East, or you have a partner that's has heritage from the Middle East, or anywhere that's desert lands. I mean, North, South Africa, uh, you know parts of Asia as well so maybe there's some sort of foreign connection here as well but I feel as though you're rushing into something here Scorpio and there's a lot of excitement going on around you you're rushing in and you're accepting these offers that are coming around you you're accepting this maybe you're accepting a speech or an award of some kind here with the four of wands maybe you're an academic and your work is being published or you're being peer-reviewed or you're accepting an academic award of some kind Maybe you're getting married and you're sending out, you know, invitations. Maybe you're planning some sort of party. Maybe your your partner is having a birthday or you're celebrating an anniversary. That could be it also. And you might decide to go away on holiday and that would be a good idea for you. And you'll definitely have the funds to do this here with the pentacle signs, the cards, sorry. Also, <clears throat> I feel things will be very, well, be happening very quickly. Stay on track and you don't get to... Uh, too distracted by a lot. I mean, there's celebrations here. There's potential to travel or plan to travel. You, I mean, you've got this family figure or a partner figure here that could be quite domineering and might try to dictate how the course of the month goes in some way, shape, or form. It could be that, that this person surprises you with a holiday, a proposal of some kind, or an offer. Uh, could be this person spoils you, gets you some sort of gifts. But we'll see what the priestesses have to say. What else is happening for you, Scorpio? Okay, you've got the Priestess of Magic and she's around you. So you've got magic around you this month, Scorpio. It's busy. There's magic to me comes in the form of synchronicity, law of attraction, manifestation. So you're, and it's, it's wonderful to see because the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles really support this notion that things are happening for you because this is messages and offers coming up in your physical realm, in the physical world, assets, offers from people, things that you can touch, feel, encounter. So that's nice to see that the fruit of your manifestations are coming to you, the fruits of your labors, they're coming to you. I mean, you're looking on the horizon, you know what you've wanted. If it's marriage you want, you'll attract it. If it's money you want, you'll attract it. If it's that person you want, you'll attract it. So that's really positive, Scorpio, I'm liking that see what else so we have solitude okay so the priestess of solitude likes to be alone this is an air sign so you might be dealing with an air sign or you have a lot of air energy in your chart or air energy around you and I feel as though you might have to consult within yourself because as I said you will have a very busy month so maybe this is the time where you will need solitude maybe you might take a break from this person maybe you might take a, a, a holiday or a retreat with this person or alone a meditation retreat even somewhere where you can be alone and regather your thoughts because you have a lot of offers and maybe it's time to delve deeper and see do I want to accept this offer can I see myself doing this it's these sort of questions you have to ask yourself but you're definitely manifesting a lot Scorpio of planning travels and celebrating you know a wedding or unions of some kind be mindful about this Emperor I mean he is very high and mighty. It's someone that is very well established and high in their role. Someone that does have good judgment, but sometimes can cloud your judgment with some sort of domineering uh, characteristic of their personality. But a lot of offers here with the pentacles, which is really nice. And just take your time, be more methodical, have that time to, you know, have that solitude because you do have the Knight of Wands and this is rushing into a lot. But all in all, I hope you have a lovely month and I'll be speaking to you again very soon. Thanks again.